Welcome to Emmett's Place. Hope you're all doing well in the house and at home. Uh, on the drums, that's Mr. Kyle Poole. Yeah. On the bass, the great Yasushi Nakamura. Yeah. On the saxophone, the one and only Patrick Alexander Bartley. Yeah. And playing trumpet, that's Max Boyko. And uh, yeah, we're going we're to be featuring some of Patrick's original music tonight, some of Patrick's arrangements. Um, I believe this is your fourth time here, your fourth stream here. So you're 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 the one of the integral parts of this operation. Uh, thank you for for making it what it what it is. Uh, from after you've gone to here. <laughs> oh man. Um, no, it's always a pleasure to have you in the in the house. I know you made a special trip up here just to just to be here, and we are honored. Um, we'd also like to thank uh, Nordic Ultra Tune for sponsoring this evening's performance. And without Nordic Ultra Tune, none of this would be possible. Uh, so we appreciate you. And yeah, we're just gonna play.
Yeah, thank you. It's not every day that I get to speak on the coveted Emmett Cohen YouTube channel. <laughs> but thank you so much, everybody. Um, first of all, thank you, Emmett, for having me. It's always a blast being here. Um, my musical brother, brother in earth, brother in all sorts of ways. We had a, we just came off a tour in Europe. We spent a, we saw some earth, all right. <laughs> no, we spent a lot of great time to get loose, get tight on the music, all the kind of stuff all in between. So. It's real nice to kind of put all that energy here into the session for people to see. So those are who got to miss all those performances. Now you're getting to see that energy coming in live here. So I'm really, really grateful for it. Thank you, man. Um, and for those of y'all watching at home, um, the first song that you heard was actually an original of mine that I wrote while at the Manhattan School of Music. <laughs> a lot of stuff that I wrote is stuff that I wrote when I actually had time to write. And uh, I wanted to explore that now that I have a band that I can actually play this stuff with. So that first one was originally called 1965 because that was like the year, the era that I was kind of thinking of when I was writing the song, but then I later titled it to Spirit of Freedom because I think that's exactly what it represents to me. And that last one, of course, was an immortal Cole Porter um, composition called All of You. And uh, you want to go into another standard, maybe? Yeah? Let's do one of my all-time favorites that uh, I fell in love with when I first ran into the, the late, great Roy Hargrove when I first got to New York in 2011. And I saw him at Smalls, and he said, hey, man, I think uh, another person uh, who has passed but is still with us, uh, Lawrence. Lawrence, Lawrence told me about you. He said, uh, hey, you, your name Richard? I was like, no, it's, it's Patrick. <laughs> it's Patrick. Oh, yeah, that's right. I'm going to Fat Cat. You know, like, why don't you come with me? I was like, yeah, well, of course I'm going to go. So he walked to Fat Cat. We walked over. He pulled his flugelhorn out, man. And I think from that point on, it changed everything that I thought about music and how I wanted to improvise. He played this song called The Lamp is Low. And uh, it became one of my favorite standards of all time. So I hope you enjoy this one. This is my arrangement of The Lamp is Low.
singing in the rain, y'all. Judy Garland. My goodness. Can you believe she was 17 when she sang that? That entire thing, the monologue, verse, all that kind of stuff. Yeah, bona fide, true artist, actress, everything. Um, she's incredible. So to continue on with the Judy Love, I think if it's okay with Emmett, I think I want to play another song that's uh, sung by Judy Garland. From uh, I think that first one was uh, Little Nelly Kelly, and this one is from Meet Me in St. Louis. This uh, Kyle has actually played this one with the uh, incredible Cecile. Um, and yes, yeah, so yeah, both of them played this. Cecile McLaurin and Savant. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> this is, you know, of course, uh, sitting on the, the shoulders of greatness from the old and the new. This is my contribution to the world of uh, Judy Garland arrangements. This one is the trolley song from Meet Me in St. Louis. Thank you very much.
Ladies and gentlemen, one of the great saxophonists of all time, Patrick Bartley. Wow, Patrick, you you had some moments in uh, in 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 Europe when we went when we went this summer too. I just want to say that Patrick brought so much love and so much joy to so many people in France and uh, in Azerbaijan. Where else do we go? Just there. <laughs> yeah, you went to Slovenia before that. Yeah, and uh, yeah, it's just it's always a joy to make music with you, and it's an honor to develop our concept alongside of you. So this is only the beginning. Only the beginning. <laughs> That's Kyle Poole on the drums. This is Yasushi Nakamura on the bass. Yeah. 
And uh, we want to thank again the sponsor of tonight's performance, Nordic Ultra Tune. If you need your skis tuned, no one in this band skis. <laughs> I do, I do, I do, I do. Slowly. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, so thank you. Also, thank you to to Calvin Grant on the sound. Thank you to Alex Whites on video design. <laughs> we have a very special guest in the house from Montclair, New Jersey. Uh, you've seen him before on the stream. And uh, we, I just found this picture. It, re it, re it resurfaced. It resurfaced of, uh, of Julian when he was eight years old and I was 12 years old playing together in Montclair. <laughs> you pulling it up? Can we get it to the screen? Hold it to that camera. <laughs> Kyle's has a picture. That must be 2000. Two thousand must be 2012. <laughs> we'll we'll post it later. <laughs> anyway, thanks uh, for all of you. Who, t who tuned in, continue to tune in after uh, 97 volumes of Emmett's Place. We truly love you. Thanks to my neighbors and people in my building for putting up with this. <laughs> and uh, you want to introduce the two? Yeah, sure. <clears throat> All right, so thank you again, Emmett, appreciate you. And thank you, everybody uh, at home for watching. Really appreciate it. Uh, this song we have uh, now, well actually in case you didn't know that last one, it was Stardust um, by great Hoagy Carmichael classic. And uh, we got Julian Lee up here playing tennis saxophone on a song that I wrote, this is more of a contemporary one I guess for me because I went through a drought of like not writing a lot of songs. I was just trying to study the masters and really play but I really felt like I couldn't really, I don't know, there was something stuck. And then one day I realized that uh, I gotta go back to the blues. But not just the blues in the traditional sense. I mean, the blues in like the human sense. And so the way I think about the blues is that it's a constant thing and it can be in all forms and all sounds. So I wanted to kind of represent the way I feel. Uh, the, you know what I'm saying? I wanted to represent the way that I feel about the blues and about my reality as a human and about my place in the world. And this one's called These Blues Are All I've Got. And it takes my influences, of course, with the blues, but also with church music that I had grown up, with anime and video game music that I had grown up, everything in between, all types of harmony, melody, I wanted to kind of culminate in this song. So this is maybe like only the third or fourth time this has ever been played. So you're getting a real original version here in this place. Thank you all so very much for watching. This is These Blues.
do it then. Yeah, yeah, yeah I do that, bro. Okay. Mm-hmm. He's sure he's all Jeez. Patrick. Because <laughs> you know that's all bad. On the institution. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, shoot. <laughs> 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 yeah, I like your title. Yeah. Oh, yeah? Yeah, there you go. One, here we go. One, two, one, two, one, two, three. <laughs>
Patrick Bartley, Julian Lee, oh. yeah. Kyle Poole on the drums, yeah, Sushi Nakamura on the bass, yeah. Yeah. Max Boyko. <laughs>
Thank you very much. Thank you once again to Nordic Ultra Tune, to Bimble, our sponsored drink, of which we have none this week. <laughs> and uh, yeah, thank you. Have a great week. We'll see you in two weeks for Buster Williams and Lenny White. Thank you.